Yeah. The clip you're about to see is the first time I've ever used the Italian language for a non-comedic or ironic reason. Can I watch yeah. espresso per porn? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I still found it hilarious. I'm so glad to get out of those clothes. I have dead set no idea how to cross this road. There's a fucking roundabout over there. And then just a fence over here. No, I still can't work out how to cross this road. All right, guys, please hold. As soon as we cross this road, we'll get to the pizza shop and eat some bloody Napoli pizza, okay? So this pizza is their bomba. It has provola, pacino, pochini mushrooms, and some sort of sausage, I think. This was their suggestion. Um, this is meant to be real good pizza place, so let's see. Holy shit, look at these mushrooms. Look at that mushroom. It's very balanced. Those mushrooms, they're such a textural surprise. Like as soon as you bite into one, you know. You don't even need to chew it. See? Oh. The tomatoes are cooked so perfectly. They're still a little bit sort of raw. Mm. So you get a bit of unadulterated tomato flavor. Look, the pizza was good, but I'm not going to rate this because I think pizza's average. Controversial, I know, but it is what it is. All right, so there was zero chance that I was going to come all the way to Italy and not compare some of the local produce. Um, I keep hearing about the lemons, the pecorino cheese, the parmesan, the olives, the this, the that. Um, I also keep hearing about tomatoes, and I love tomatoes. As I travel through Italy, I'm going to keep trying different tomatoes and see how they go. This is an ox heart tomato, and it is from Lidl, so it's not a farmer's market tomato. And let's see if there's any difference between one that I'd buy from a supermarket and one that I get straight from a trattoria or um, a farm. Mm. Wow. Okay, that is good. For those of you who don't eat tomatoes like this, you really should. Buongiorno. It's delicious. It's juicy. It's plump. It's tangy. It's sour. And it's also sweet. Excellent. It's got good texture. There's a bit of flowery, floweriness to it. We don't, I can't find any salt here, but I imagine if you put some salt on this, it would be even better. Mmm. Did you hear that? Did you hear how juicy it was? 75 out of 100. Let's see what the Napoli metro is like. We're heading to Sorrento. So I didn't get on the last metro. And looking at the crowd that's forming, with all the shit that I got on me, I'm 50-50 at best to get on this one as well. Wish me luck. Sorrento means lots of stairs in Italian. How cute's this hostel room? Look at that. Very nice, and I'll show you the bathroom. Oh hey! You wouldn't really want to be hung over in here. Bloody bright. Hello hostels, I've missed ya. Lemons. Everything in this city is lemons. Oh, for this is Mon. If she was a food, she'd be a plate of fine foods, party pies, and gummy bears. Which means she's a load of fun and a little bit of everything. Cosa mi suggerisce? I like Cosa mi suggerisce? That means, uh, what do you suggest? Let's be honest, panini is also just okay. This also doesn't get a score. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> and I'd never say this to an Italian. If they put this inside a Vietnamese bread roll, it would be even better. My Italian friends, when they watch this, they're gonna fucking put a hit out on me. <laughs> but I'm gonna say it. Put this in a Vietnamese bread roll. Everything else is delicious. Oh, what are you doing? We're gonna cut this lemon because apparently the white flesh is like really good. Apparently. But I don't even think this is the right lemon. This is it's not the right lemon, but the lemons, the lemons here are good. They are. What are you even doing? I'm not, I'm not cutting it. You're, oh, you're, I'm cutting it. Yeah, because right. you 
you fuck it up? <laughs> Is that how you meant to cut With no chopping board and no table? It's a rustic ass shit. Um, how, how would you cut? Go on then. I'm not gonna fit it. You know, just open the clip. Now, right? It does smell good. Like this. This is what I was saying last night. This is what toilets should smell like. Honestly. We'll get Cheers. Oh, that's still fucking sour. Not as sour though as the Australian one. You guys want to try some eh? Sorrento lemon? Ah, uh, okay, yeah. No, I like this is not. I don't like some. We must relax. I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat this, I wouldn't eat this for breakfast. Anyway, this tomato is from Sicily. Now, I'm not going to Sicily this trip, so it makes sense to try one from Sicily. I've got some people that are going to also try this. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> it's almost not acidic at all. Mm. This is sweet. It's so good. Yeah, it's actually just really sweet. It's, it's just not sweet. Like really just... I normally don't like sweet tomatoes, but I do really like that one. 77 out of 100. And that was Sorrento. You know what that sounds like is, I'm gonna have to part with some money. Train busters. Well, it's raining and I'm currently seeking shelter in the chapel that's attached to a bus stop in Vietre sul Mare. Can you see that? It's a chapel attached to the bus stop. And the awning that I'm hiding under is about 25 centimeters wide. So, yeah, loving life. So, I've had a big day traveling from Sorrento and I literally haven't eaten anything all day. I ended up walking past the shop that sells all different types of local products. Olives, chili, cheese, um, salamis, prosciuttos, you know, you name it. I asked for a platter. They didn't really give me a choice of what I wanted on the platter. It's sort of like omakase platter. And have a look at the fucking size of this thing. A, that's the size of their pour. Um, huge wine glass. Uh, I've already had two sips out of this too. And have a look at this. I'm by myself. How the fuck am I gonna eat all this? Oh well, looks delicious. Let's tuck in and see how we go. You've got to start with the anchovy bread. It's still warm. That's delicious. The anchovy is super fresh and super good. But the winner of this is actually the bread. 82 out of 100. Let's try some of the cold meats. Mm. The salami is amazing. It's hot. It's got a bit of a kick to it. I saw extra picante chili olive oil in there. It looks really good. I think they like the chili here. Delicious. That's right, salami goes. 85 out of 100. What, what is this? This two? Uh, bacala. Fish? Yes. Uh huh. And uh, this is tuna. Oh, tuna? Yes. And? Bacala. Bacala. Okay. 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 So we've got two types of fish here bacala and tuna. Trying to describe it because it's, it's there's a lot of flavors going on at once. A bit of sweetness, a tanginess to whatever they've whatever they've marinated in. It's unique. I've never I've never tried tuna like that before. Now the bacala. Hey. Oh my god. That's fucking hectic. That is amazing. There are capers in this. Chili. Unbelievably good. Like, unbelievably good. This is a 90 out of 100. I'll say it again. This fish is up there with some of the best fish I've ever eaten.
the way they've cured that is perfect. Bon appétit. This must look weird to everyone walking past. Me sitting by myself with this platter in front of me, just mowing through it. When in Rome, right? I don't know a lot about cheese, so I don't know what kind of cheese this is. And they don't speak English well enough to tell me. It's like eating a clout. Fucking incredible. Whatever this is. It's a 90 out of 100. Excellent. You know that taste that you get when you drink warm milk? That's what this tastes like. Warm milk. It's a lingering flavor that stays with you on the palate. It's excellent. Honestly, best dairy product I've ever, ever eaten in my life, this. Lemons are so well known uh, and so revered in Sorrento and the Amalfi. I thought it was maybe even just all of Italy. Uh, it'd be rude not to try this. This is lemon ice cream with lemon cream inside it or something like that. She, she explained it to me, I can't remember, but... It was inside a fridge. Wow, that lemon flavor really pops. Really good. Would I eat it um, often? Probably not. I'm still not fully a dessert person. Actually, when you get to the middle and that yellow layer comes off, it's lemon cream. And this is fucking delicious. It's the bomb. 83 out of 100 when you get to the middle. The outside part, meh, only okay. But the inside part, the lemon cream, pff, fucking get out of here. Still looking for the laundromat too. Can't find it.